Now, I wasn't really planning on doing a video today, but I've seen something on the internet that has prompted me to make this um, video. Um, it's about David Gold, um, as you can see by the title, probably. And this has got me lost for words, to be quite honest with you. It's, it's an embarrassment. It's, it just shows how out of touch he is with things. Um, and it's getting to the point now where I think the guy needs help. I don't think he's... He's an 80-odd-year-old man. And, and, you know, maybe the internet it just isn't for him. But he's embarrassing not only himself, but in the club. This is going to be dragged through the media. And I applaud anyone that knows David Gold, that, you know, that has control of his internet or his Twitter account or anything like that, please stop him because this, I'm sure this is going to get picked up. It's been deleted now by this guy, um, but it's already been gotten hold of by so many media outlets and things like that. Now, there's a guy on the internet called Mike Space Chat. Um, you might have come across in Mike's space or whatever he's not a very nice individual he um, he plays on controversy and saying things that inflame the uh, the public opinion and he's just not a nice guy I, 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 I can't work him out I, I can't work out whether he's whether he's deluded whether he's a little he, he suffers with his mental health a little bit um, or he just gets off on, on, you know, seeing people argue with him or whatever. Um, but he tweeted something recently that is, is pretty disgusting, to be quite honest with you. He's been having this chat. He's been putting up polls and all of this sort of thing about the um, the London Stadium. He's a supporter of the London Stadium. You've got to respect that. that there's going to be people that are supporters of the London Stadium. Um, and he goes backwards and forwards with people. I think just for shock value and, and things like that, but look, I don't know. I, I can't say for sure. Um, I've had my run-ins with him before. He's not a very nice guy. Um, he's a very, I think he's a he's a bit of a, a male chauvinist. He, he doesn't seem to like women. I've had run-ins with him before when he's been threatening people, and um, you know, I've, I've I've given my two cents more than once. Um, and he keeps on popping up on my timeline, and there was a discussion about some something to do with the uh, with the stadium lately. And he he's put out a poll. You know, do you like the stadium or do you support the board and all this sort of nonsense? I can't really remember what it is. Um, and eleven percent come back that they supported it. Now somewhere in this guy's mind, he's he's. He's, he's calling the, the people that support the stadium the silent majority. Um, and then he's sub trying to back that up. It, it, it's, it's something that don't really make sense. I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, but then he's tweeted something that is a little bit... I don't, it's, it's going too far. It's going too far. And then he tries to backtrack in, in further tweets. I think he's deleted this now. So what he, he tweeted is, I think West Ham are okay. We have a new... Big stadium, a board that support the best of their ability limited, and the players who need some kind of support. I get abused every other day for my opinions. If I was Caroline, he's talking about Caroline Flack, and in, in brackets he's put weak, I'd have topped myself. Now, that tweet is in very, very poor taste. Um, he's basically saying that, you know, she's, she's weak-minded, um, for ending her life and all of that sort of thing. Very poor taste in, you know, a very delicate time and, and where people are, you know, suffering in silence with their mental health and, you know, this is highlighted it. He decides to um, to tweet something like this. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Nobody in their right mind would ever support something like this or... or, or um, Uh, look, it's just, it's ridiculous, it's stupid. Who likes it? Now, there's no mention of David Gold in here. There's no mention of, um, 
You know, there's no at or anything like that. But David Gold likes to tweet. Now, for somebody in his position that is facing all sorts of scrutiny, um, criticism, and everything like that, he's got to be more mindful of these things. Like, this is going to get picked up. This is going to run. You know, he's been in the news over the last few weeks, he, you know, when he, he retweeted some things, you know, really um, laying into West Ham fans. There is big pressure at the moment on, on this ball, on this club, um, and they need to do the right thing. This, this is not doing the right thing. This is... I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. To be quite honest with you, um, I don't know whether he's just read the first part and not bothered reading the second part. But it just shows you how egotistical they are, and 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 how the public perception about what they look like and and what people think about them grips them every day. Because there is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether he's trying to inflame people to make these these protests work so they can get the the uh, you know the the moral high ground or whatever but please it look ultimately this video is about this if you're watching and you are from West Ham if you are a, a part of the media team look I know that I have not, not got had any sort of good words for you of late and and you know but please take this guy's Twitter off of him please advise him now, I know he's a very big, powerful man, but he's doing himself a lot of harm by doing these sort of things. He's doing his companies um, and the good work that he's done in his companies. He's doing West Ham a lot of harm by doing these sort of things because this is going to be picked up and run. And, you know, public opinion isn't with them at the moment. So you can imagine what this press is going to do. Please help him understand if he doesn't understand i don't know whether he understands or he's getting a bit confused or whatever but he needs help he needs help it, it sounds like he's cracking up a bit he sounds like he might be suffering a little bit with his mental health um if i'm quite honest with you but it's and, and mike space you, you're a piece of shit to be quite honest with you for, for tweeting something like that you're a fucking piece of shit who i'd I won't piss on your views on fire, to be quite honest with you. Um, but somebody help David Gold. Somebody sort it out and, and, you know, sort his PR out because this doesn't look good in, on anyone. Anyone. That's it, guys. Um, one thing left to say. Come on, you eyes.